the most terrible human rights abuse on earth right now, unaddressed, is the abuse of women and girls. From the very beginning, the girl-child can be discriminated against, even in the womb. One of the worst types of violence is child marriage. In every conflict that has happened, even recently, you can see that women suffer the most. I saw hundreds of thousands of women raped and re-raped with no justice, with no possibility of the soldiers or uh, militia or whoever it was being brought to any kind of court. There are 160 million girls missing from the face of the earth who've been killed by their parents at birth or before birth. And we have uh, terrible abuse of women in colleges, in the military, rape during war zones and honor killings. Women don't get as much pay for men as for the same work, and they're deprived of a right to serve in leadership positions and corporations. The girl child instinctively knows she's inferior to her brother and has much more of a set life. She's to help in the home. She'll marry very young, and in the workplace she'll be discriminated against. Women have to be bold enough to demand their own rights. And women are getting together now throughout the world to say we need equal opportunity in society. We need equal opportunity as we get education. Uh, we need equal opportunity in the right to hold public office and the leadership positions in society in all ways. Many societies have changed. I think almost all societies in the world have historically been patriarchal but progress has been made. And I think those that remain at the back end now uh, can very well uh, copy the patterns that were adopted earlier. It's incredibly important that we do have justice systems that work. Rule of law is essential, but it's not there in the conflict situations. And we need to prioritize that more, I believe. Women themselves are more and more active. In, in, in Africa, for example, you have now quite a few countries where representation of women in Parliament is improving uh, remarkably. So the awareness of the public about how women are abused, and girls as well, is a key factor in getting started a corrective action to give women equal rights. You'd be surprised to know that in many of the societies, especially the kind that I come from, which are generally supposed to be resistant to change. Women have been able to get a recognition, which generally, right now, people don't know about. 